Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is Hunter from Alan Asher Photography back with another Pics and Sight tutorial about a brand new tool developed by Bill Blanchett and Mike Cranfield who have basically been the pioneers of providing easy to use tools for everyday users like myself for Pics and Sight. But this one is not for deep sky astrophotography. This one is geared towards people who are taking images of the sun especially in hydrogen alpha now myself i haven't really had much of a chance to be imaging the sun in hydrogen alpha because of my work schedule and being the winter months here there's a lot of clouds and we're getting ready to go into spring which is not any better as far as when it comes to having clear skies but this tool here known as the solar toolbox is supposed to be very helpful for those to edit their solar images they were taken through their hydrogen alpha telescope now myself in the past i have not been very good with editing solar photos i primarily do just deep sky for the most part so this is going to be a real good test here of how easy this tool is to make a beautiful image of the sun now the image example i'm going to be using is not actually from myself that i've taken it's from a good buddy you might know him chuck from chuck's astrophotography he sent me the data that he took just about last week of this very large sunspot region and a little bit of a filament that is suspended on the solar surface now bill blanchin has a very long super detailed video about over an hour of all the nitty gritty details regarding this tool here so the main focus of what I'm going to be doing is basically just trying to tool out and see how it performs to someone who doesn't really process hydrogen alpha images of the sun so this is basically going to be how easy this actually is for your everyday user so the first thing that we're going to be doing is well we have a lot of artifacts around the edge here so we're just gonna throw in a little bit of some dynamic crop and find a nice crop for our image here overall get rid of our, all those artifacts we're gonna make it kind of square as we can to our liking let's do that all right now for the solar toolbox i will leave a link to where you can put this in a repository this is a free tool which is very very nice be able to put in your pics in sight but i definitely do want to mention one very very important detail regarding this tool you have to have the absolute latest version of PixInsight. so currently my version right now that i am using is 1.8.9-2 and the build right now i have is 1601 you need something greater than 1597 just as a FYI, if not, you will have the tool not work for you in general. So make sure to have the latest version of PixInsight to do this. So where we're able to find this is through processes, all processes, and then solar toolbox. Now you are going to be met with this image here with mode, prominence boost, contrast enhancement, color, and sharpening. So we're going to start with the mode function first where you have the image type whether it is only being focused on surface surface and prominence or prominence only especially if you're working on the limb you also have the adjusted parameters like the solar rim the black point and the white point overall so when we're looking at the prominence boost, especially if you want to bring out a little bit more details in solar prominences or filaments on the surface, you'd be able to check that box there and be able to have a boost slider or a 3D effect to kind of have it pop out at you a little bit. We also have contrast enhancement. There's two different ones, histogram equalization and local contrast. You can switch in between those, but you do have a little bit more variation to contrast if you use the histogram, or if you just one single slider for this one here, you'll be able to just 
adjust the contrast to your liking. Now, the really cool one that I like here, which I always had a problem with, is color. Now, a lot of times when people are doing hydrogen alpha imaging of the sun, they're using monochrome cameras. And you wonder, how in the world do they get colored images from monochrome data? Well, luckily for here, we have a single click tool and it just turns your image into a full color image. It's super easy and you'll be able to adjust the contrast the highlights and all of that and then we also have sharpening sharpening of the surface or through the prominences or both so let's go ahead and do a little bit of a real-time preview the nice part is you'll be able to use this tool and get a live preview of what you are working with so Let's go ahead, since what we're using here is a surface and prominence because of this filament activity right here. And we can go ahead and do some slight adjustments here, but I think the first one I want to do is the color. You click the color here, if we're just going to be using the defaults, boom, you already have a color image right off of the bat, which is <laughs> phenomenal, to say the least. And I'm not... And I don't really care too much about the color here so far. So let's go and just mess with some settings here, especially with the contrast. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the contrast. Wait for that to update so far. This is just using the stock image, uh, the stock parameters. And look at that. Even just the standard default settings, we're already getting some individual details going on on the solar surface, which is phenomenal in itself. So let's go ahead and mess with a little bit of these contrast settings here. Boost out the contrast just a little bit more and wait for the live preview to update for us. There we go. I'm starting to like that a little bit more. Let's go ahead and boost a little bit of the prominence right here of the filament. Boost a little bit of that and we'll add a little bit of some 3D to it. It does take a little bit of a moment. All right, we're already, I mean, <laughs> right off the bat here, it's already a better image than I've taken in the past, just in itself, just for like processing purposes wise. Um, let's bring the black point down a little bit. Kind of make it a little bit more contrast on the edges here. Oh, I think that's a little bit too much as a matter of fact. Actually, let me adjust with the solar rim. It also helps that if you have a stronger PC to work with, it does help for this tool because it does use a lot of processing power to do so. So already this image is looking fantastic right off the bat. And you can also do contrast mask in areas. So you can bring up the shadow and maybe a little bit of blur. And you'll be able to click on this too and see what is your mask when you're trying to do some contrast. So like for here, it's being focused more on the outside of the limb. Wait for that to update. Not too bad, not too bad. Let's add some sharpening now to this. And I definitely want to do a little bit of a sharpening mask right here in this tool to know what I'm working with. Bring the shadows down. Okay. Bring it down a little bit more and not make it as harsh. Put a little bit of a blur. There we go. That should be good. Now let's go ahead and sharpen this image. Bring up a little bit more of the kernel. I'm amazed how easy this is in general to edit all in one tool. 
Okay, that's getting a little bit extreme there. Let me bring that down just a smidge. There we go. We're already getting a fantastic image right off the bat. Bill Blanchin and Mike Cranfield absolutely nailed this. And what else is really cool too, because you know, there is different kinds of wavelengths that you can image the sun. Of course, the most common one is hydrogen alpha, but there's also color management palettes to view in calcium K. Now, of course, if I show this as a calcium K colors, it's always that, that purplish blue. Still looks kind of cool regardless, but we are not shooting in Calcium K. But Hydrogen Alpha doesn't always get the love. Calcium K is really good for picking up the nice details around sunspot regions. And of course, you can adjust the colors to however you like it. You can add a little bit of some highlight contrast or some more contrast boost. And that is looking very good right there. I'm gonna add a little bit more on the rim. You can also add some denoise too if you want, if it seems kind of noisy. But this image is not very noisy at all. But yeah, this is incredible. And then whenever you're done, you just hit the apply button. And it will apply to your image. Now you have this crazy preview, but look at that. Now if you go back to what we were, like like as we started, was just straight out of the stack, black and white, it looks, you know, really boring. And just with this tool here, look at the difference we have. Beautiful sunspot regions. You can see there was a little bit of some flare activity and this filament here. And this was only done in less than 10 minutes. So before going into Photoshop and trying to get your colors the way you are, like you wanted, get it some nice contrast, do sharpening, it is a Swiss army knife of just one singular tool to edit solar images in PixInsight. So this is just a very dirty explanation and trial of what this tool is capable of and I would love to be able to see what you come up with for your own images and tell me how easy it is compared to your old methods beforehand. This is just what I wanted to do a quick video on today. If you like what you see and want to see some more tutorials coming along, please leave it down there in the comments, leave a like on the video. Tell your friends to subscribe. Just trying to build this channel up even more and it does help me quite a bit. Now, hopefully get some clear skies here to do some more deep sky, but we shall see. Have a wonderful day everyone and clear skies and I'll see you in the next one.